Welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about bioinformatics, about dot plots, how to analyze dot plots, how to recognize patterns and dot plots we basically built as a result of um, comparing one sequence which we put on top and another sequence which we put here on the side. It can be for example DNA sequence, RNA sequence or sequence of amino acids. And basically we want to find how these two sequences are similar to each other by analyzing patterns that we can see here. Let's take a look. For example, if we take this small box here, this can be a result of the low complexity of the sequence. Let's take a look. Imagine that we have one, two, three, columns and one to three rows. And here we have the same sequence like adenine on top, adenine here and adenine here, adenine of the other sequence here, adenine here and adenine here. So we are going to get a dot in every cell here. So we perceive this as a box which is filled with dots which tell us about low complexity regions in both sequences which happens here. But today we are going to talk about palindromic sequence, how we can recognize when some strand say DNA has palindromic sequence when we compare with another one. So palindromic sequence is a nucleic acid sequence DNA or RNA that is the same way they read 5 to 3 direction on one strand or 5 to 3 on the complementary strand with which it forms a double helix. Take a look. For example, this sequence has A here and another sequence also has A here. So we put a dot here. But if we continue to compare this whole row, we will find another A here. So we put another dot here. We also has two hits for the T. So this is going to be one and here is going to be another one. Whenever we have two sequences which completely the same, we are going to have a diagonal line with no interruptions from top left corner to the bottom right corner. But what does it mean when we have instead of just one diagonal line, two diagonal lines going in different directions? This basically means that we have a palindromic sequence here. Take a look. This is going to be sequence ATGC and here is going to be another sequence. As you see, they are not overlap. So let me use different color. But this is going to be the same sequence A T G C. A T G C also here. So we are going to have a cross like this. Or it's going to look like this on some dot plot uh, programs. And also we have the same palindromic sequence in the other strand. So in this case we are going to see a pattern like this. We are going to have a cross here of two diagonal lines. So whenever you can see this pattern you can say that here we have a palindromic sequence which is identical in both strands which we compare. Now let's take a look at another example of the dot plot with um, inverted repeat. But this time as you see we have four dots here and this is because we have here two E's and two E here which make this box. So we have here palindromic sequence inverted repeat but as I said, we have here low complexity region. 
which makes this box. If we have a stretch of the same, uh, say, amino acid for three, four, five positions, then we are going to have also three, four, five by five box here, which means, uh, again, low complexity region. But now you also can recognize this pattern, which means inverted repeat sequence. So here we have sequence A, B, C, D, E, and also we have inverted repeat A, B, C, D, E here. And the same is true here and here. This also can tell us that this can be a result of repetition of this sequence here, which was duplicated and then can be inserted here as a result of mutations and evolution. But also this may happen naturally without any mutations or duplications. When you, for example, take a look here, it would be hard to find such sequence here, which is, as you see, here. But when we build a dot plot, it is very easy to recognize such sequence, such pattern. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.